All right, good morning to my French horn players. Let's learn how to play our concert E flat scale with Mr. Cronin. So this is coming from the backside of our band fundamentals number two or fundamental warmups uh, number two. So this is on the backside. It's our concert E flat scale, which you probably are noticing actually begins and ends on B flat. So your note B flat is known as concert E flat. Let's go to our worksheet, how to practice for band, and let's walk ourselves through the steps. Step one is to count it out loud with a metronome and a steady foot tap. Now for this scale, I'm not going to do step one with you because we're only dealing with half notes, quarter notes, and whole notes. And so I do not feel like that's something that we probably need to spend time practicing out loud together, okay? So I am going to go back to that sheet and find step two, which is to note name it out loud with a steady beat. I'm going to use my metronome for that. And so I'm fiddling with my metronome over here next to me. And I have my metronome set anywhere between 60 and 72 as usually those are good places to kind of start. Um, so I have it at 72 right now and I am going to reference my masters of the alphabet. Remember that our scale actually is starting and ending on B flat, and so my Masters of the Alphabet will be the B series. Okay, so we're going to go through Masters of the Alphabet with a steady metronome. Ready, here we go. And B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B. Great job. Okay, and you would pause the video here to practice that a few more times. Now, of course, I've got it on the screen, but in reality, I don't use it on the screen. This is a skill that I have memorized, and you want to have that skill memorized as well. So we said our note names out loud for the scale itself. There is also, so this is the end of the scale at measure 104. There is also a section called an arpeggio at 105, 106, and 107. So let's go ahead and note name those as well. Ready, here we go. B, D, F, B, A, F, E flat, C, B, and we are there. Okay, now I'm going to take this one more layer deep with our note naming because we know that every scale has a unique key signature, and this specific key signature is the key of B flat, two flats, B flat, E flat, key of B flat, nothing new there for us. So now we need to go back and do masters of the alphabet, but every time we say B, we actually need to say B flat. And every time we say E, we need to actually say E flat. Okay, so I'm gonna note name this one again with the proper flats in place. Ready, here we go. And B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, A, G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, arpeggio. B flat, D, F, B flat, A, F, E flat, C, B flat. Okay, great job, guys. Pause the video here to spend time practicing that. You can turn your metronome a little bit slower if that was tricky, okay? Anywhere between 60 and 72 is usually a pretty good place. All right, let's go to step three. I've done step two several times. Step three is fingers and positions. So I'm going to do that scale again with my note names, with my metronome, but this time I'm going to put my fingers along with it. There are no new notes in this scale for French horn players, but I do want to be sure that when I get to A, I start to throw down my thumb trigger. So instead of just being fourth position, A is trigger four and High B flat is trigger three, okay? Those are the only two notes in this scale that are affected by the trigger transition, okay? Here we go, fingers, ready, here we go. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, A, G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, arpeggio, here we go, and B flat, D, F, B flat, A, F, E flat, C, B flat. Okay, another place to pause the video here. Practice that until you feel really confident in it, okay? Now I am going to do it one more time, but instead of um, doing the note names, I'm going to say the positions out loud. And as a brass player, I think that that's really, really handy. So let's see whether I can do that or not, okay? Here we go. Ready? Say the positions. Go. And three... One, three, two, three, one, 
trigger four, trigger three, trigger four, one, three, two, three, one, three, arpeggio, here we go. Three, 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 trigger three, trigger four, three, two, one, three, and we're there. Okay, guys, so that's a little tricky. You might want to spend a little bit of extra time um, saying those positions while you go through them as well. Okay, let's go back to our how to practice for band sheet. It should be in your folder. I've done my step three fingers and positions many, many times. I feel really comfortable with it. I'm going to move to step four, silent play. And I'm not going to make you guys listen to me silent play today. Okay, um, when you do silent play, you want to focus on good breath and good articulation so you're tonguing the notes where you should be okay and last up is going to be step five playing it now stop and think about this with me if you did step one and you mastered step one you can count it out loud and you're very confident you did step two you named the notes and you're very confident you mastered that skill step three fingers or positions and you're very confident you've spent the time and you've mastered the skill you've silent played it enough so that your air and tongue know what to do along with your fingers then we get to step five, play it for real. And I bet you it's gonna go really well the very first time, guys. So let's find out. This is our concert E flat scale. I'm at 72 beats. You can go a little slower than this if you want. And I'm actually gonna stand to do this. So I hope you don't lose me in the video too much. If I stay seated, the sound here is really, really funny. So I'm gonna stand for this one. Hopefully you can still see me. Five, six, seven, here we go. All right, and hopefully the computer audio is still picking up my speech here. So that's our concert E flat scale. You can hear that in this small room, my B flat sound a little bit stuffy, don't they? And what I found out is just because this room is so small, if I have something so close behind me, it really makes those B flat sound stuffy. So if you're hearing that at home, don't be too afraid. Just try and find a bigger room to practice in so that your sound can bounce a little bit, okay? So horns, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Send me some videos, um, send me some recordings, some pictures. I'd love to hear from you, okay? Have fun with your concert E flat scale.